You only deal with people with an identity. Some people have got great gifts and talent, but they are hidden behind. God shall remove the, God shall remove the rebuke. So suddenly the rebuke has been removed. I want us to see the work of this spirit in the book of Ezekiel chapter 13 from verse 17. And kindly I want you to be very keen. Likewise, thou son of man, set your face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out to, the, to their own heart, and prophesy thou against them. And say, verse 18, that says, The Lord God, woe to the woman that said, Seuse pillows. Now, pillows, the other word for pillows in Bible translation is charms. Okay? The soup pillows, it's another word for different types of charms. That too, okay, uh -huh. that says to go to the woman that use pillows, war is a cry of death. So today we are saying war unto whoever has been doing witchcraft. Amen. Pillows to all the armholes and make kerchiefs upon the heads. These are veils. Kerchief, the other English word is the, the, the other English word. The, this is in Victorian English, but the modern God that is English, the other word is a veil. So when you talk of pillows, the modern English word is charms. When we talk about kerchief, kerchief comes from handkerchief, kerchief yamfuko, it's a veil. Kerchief mikitamba. Amen. Kerchiefs upon the head of every stature to hurt souls. To do what? To hurt souls. What are these charms for? These charms are intended to do what? To hunt down souls. Will he hunt the souls of my people? And will he save the souls alive that comes to you? Verse 19. And will you pollute me among my people? For handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread? Of course, they are paying something. So God was addressing these people. Saying you are polluting my people because you need some money to slay the souls of them that should not die. Underline that. To slay the souls of those who should not die. Meaning, they are dead somebody can slay a soul there is no man to die so in case you have been experiencing death before the age of 80 we need to deal with the spirit of the serpent hallelujah uh -huh. to slay the souls of all who should, who should not die and to save the souls alive that should not live there is a transfer. Somebody is appointed for death. They go give their offer. The Bible calls it barley, handfuls of pieces of bread. Of course, that changes with currency. Today's currency is money. And I think some of them will get now to the level of swiping. I don't know. But whatever they exchange the currency is because some of their people are sick to death and they offer a sacrifice. So the, the spirit of death leaves the person appointed to die and it takes your person who actually was not supposed to die. Am I talking to somebody? They exchange businesses that were about to die and they give a sacrifice to the spirit of the serpent and when they give these sacrifices, your business dies and your neighbor's business is still growing and you are not able to understand how come my neighbor's business is growing and I'm having better products. Am I talking to you? Because they know there is something about to die and they go with your name and even your photo. Nowadays you don't even need to take somebody's photo. They don't even need to use the mirrors of the water. They will just need your photo. It is in water or anywhere. And so that 
actually need to cover your image wherever you post it to the blood. Don't just take a photo. Cover it to the blood. Hallelujah. When it has the mark of the blood, it is a Passover. And the Bible says, them that should be dead begin to live at the expense of the righteous. Glory to God. But you are lying to my people who hear your lies. These people are using a demonic spirit and of course the foundation is the spirit of the devil. Lies. He's the father of all lies. Let's go to verse 20. Wherefore that says the Lord God, behold, I'm against your pillows. In essence, I'm against your charms. And I know when I'm talking about charms, Perhaps there is somebody who gave birth to your child who can funga kitu wapa tiri ya kura kwa sawa. Some of them have got markings so that they are protected. Some of them have got, some of you here, I know you are born again loving Jesus, could be having necklaces that are supposed to protect you. Pastor gave an example of our friend's school just here a few meters from here. And she was telling me, you know what? Over break time, when the child went to remove the snacks, a snake fell. And you know when the mother was called, the mother said, don't touch that one. And interesting, the snake was not leaving that small boy. Even when it is chased, it would still stand there. And the mother said, ah, ah, who would be an leader who told you? This is wickedness. This is wickedness. Some people are living in houses that have already been given to the spirit of divination. Perhaps the price for that house or somebody's soul. So when you get to your house, you need to dedicate it to Jesus. Are we together? We continue. Uh huh. Work the hand the souls of men to make them fly, and I will tear them from your arms to make them fly. The, 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 the second part of the Bible here written in italics is like birds. And I will tear them down from your arms, and I will let the souls go, even the souls that you hunt, to make them fly. You see what God is saying? I will set free the souls. Can you say, God set me free? The reason why you find people living at a certain territorial level is because there is an oppressive spirit. You tithe, you give your offering, you are prayerful, you read the word of God, but you never break through. It's because there is an opposition in this realm of the spirit. And this is what is trying to constrict you, to take you back to where you, you were before. But God forbid from today, we are going to go from glory to glory, from honor to honor, from power to power. From today, your life will not remain the same again. I like what Pastor say, this is the house of God. Amen. Glory to God. And every department is here, the department of heaven. Your kerchiefs also will I tear and deliver my people out of your hands. And they shall be no more in your hands to be hunted. And you shall know that I am the Lord. Because with lies you have made the hearts of the righteous sad. Who have not made sad. And strengthened the hands of the wicked. That he should not return from his wicked ways. By promising him life. The wicked go. They are promised greatness. The righteous are going lower and lower and lower. And that's why Karl Marx would easily say religion is an opium of society. Because he was not seeing the essence of society. But now we are going to change the situation. It is the answer to the society. Can you say it is the answer? To the society. Because why? A time came when the body of Christ was so constricted in poverty that when they talked about poverty, they could only talk of a rat mouse. But we thank God we are getting to a different level where it is not about going to be around the rat, the rat church. It's called the church rat, eh? Or the rat church, eh? The church rat. Church mouse. 
So that one. It is not going to be said that again because the body of Christ is rising from glory to glory. Why? Through knowledge of the word of God. Hallelujah. Therefore you shall see no more vanity, nor divine divination, for I deliver my people out of your hand. And that you shall know that says the Lord. Down there he said, deliver me continually, O Lord. So the spirit of the serpent begins to squeeze. And the devil convinces you, you are a failure. True or not true? He's a liar. The devil will keep, keep telling you, you are a failure. I've come to tell you, you are not a failure, but you have been at warfare. Are we together? From here you are going to start your dream, and your dream will succeed because you are not a failure. From here you are going to start that business, and it will flourish because you are not a failure. Yes. From here you are going to start that thing you wanted to do, and it is going to rise above, above, and above, and above, always above, because you are not a failure. Yes. The only thing was warfare, and today we have come to put the devil in his our feet. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The spirit of the serpent. It will squeeze and squeeze. Finally, you give up. I know I'm talking to some people here who have already given up. And they're saying, I don't know what else to do. I've done the best to do. I don't know what else to do. Because the I do it with all diligence. Everything I'm doing is right. But I rise, I hit a level, I go down. I hit a level, I go down. I start again. You are tired of starting. This is the last time you are going to start again. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You will be starting and climbing. Yes. You will be starting and climbing. Glory to God. So we are going to look at something it does and then you are going to pray. In the book of Isaiah, I want us to go to the book of Isaiah chapter 25. Verse 7, you find, before we approach this, the devil uses what we call veils, true or not true. We have seen that, they are called kerchiefs. Actually, a very British word for a veil or a kitamba is a kerchief, a kerchief, a kerchief. So, a kerchief could be a veil, could be in different sizes. When you're using it for your hand, it's a hand kerchief. The other word is a veil. So you find those two words used interchangeably. And he, uh, and he will destroy in this mountain, and I thank God Pastor explained about the mountain that we are here today, the face of the covering cast over all the people and the veil that is spread over all the nations. Now, I think I've done this before, but I still want to demonstrate it. Shiko, you've got a sugar. Can you come here? Anybody, any two people with a shuka, can you tell her to come here? And I can have one boy come here with a shuka of mine. Uh, I want anybody with a shuka. A uh, sure, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, come. I want to explain something about these veils that the devil uses to cover his people. The Bible says he will destroy them. And today is the day, hold it. Is, is there somebody else with, when you're going to shuka? I need one more person. Yeah, kindly, my dear, you can come. Yeah, you can start here. This is what happens when these people come and consult against you. Number one, they cast a veil. Why? Because the devil needs to use somebody to do what he wants to do. Are we together? The devil himself will not come and cast a spell, cast a veil, unless somebody is does so. Just the same way, God will not come and preach a revival unless he sends us. Amen. So, what he does, he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all the people and the veil that is spread over all the nations. Have you read that? Now, assuming these are different veils, can you 
you see the person behind there? No, no, of course you saw them coming in, but can you identify the person? Yes or no? Can you see their faces? Now, if they came like this to your office for a job, could you offer them a job? Can you buy from a shop of somebody who is behind a veil? Do you see why businesses die? Because the devil, through divination, will first cast a veil. And it's a spiritual karma. Am I talking to somebody? You think you are talking, you think you are doing everything, but you have been hidden by a veil. Hallelujah. You have been hidden by a veil. You have tried to make your, your life get okay. Assuming this gentleman here, God created him to be a great musician. The devil came and covered him with a veil. Just sing a song. Now he's busy ministering to the Lord and he's busy trying to tell us I have a gift. But when you look at the person, there is a veil. True or not true? You only deal with people with an identity. All we can say, but then we have a boy. Now, when you are you have a sema, hey, this one looks like she can be married. Why are you not married? There is a veil. Some people have got great gifts and talents. But they are hidden behind the veil. Unless something is done, nobody can take you to the high places of the earth. Because you don't take, the Bible says, the gift of a man makes room for him and takes him before kings. But who will take a man under the veil to a king? So at a car happen, and God forbid, a king but two in Boake, and I but in Gina, but nobody notices there was a gift. And I know I'm talking to people here who have got very good gifts. You're a very good farmer. But you're very good in business. But something keeps going down. It is covered under the veil. And what could this veil be called? The devil will always name it hopelessness. Hopelessness. He gets constricted, and God forbid that's not your portion. He gets constricted at a point, he's hopeless. And he's only now singing at one place. Can he move from here to another level? He stagnated. If you told him to go towards a pulpit, he's going to fall ten times. That's why at times we make an effort, but we keep failing because we are under the veil. Now, there's another lady here. Part for her, she has been believing God to do fashion and design because she feels like she's fashionable for fashion and design. And just she put all her photos in every every space. Facebook, WhatsApp, SMS, everywhere her photo will be there. Hoping to get a contract. But why? Is her photo always ignored? She sees herself the way she sees herself, but as we see her behind the veil. Have you ever looked at a person? And I'm, I want us to be real. I repented of this one. It used to happen to me long before I realized it was a sin. We don't know how to do an anymore. No, let us be real. Have you ever been nice to such a person? True or not true? And, 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 she could be believing God for her husband, but the veil thrown upon her face is she's proud and she's arrogant and she's a gold digger. Is she all those? No! But that is the veil that the devil has thrown. So when any brother approaches her, what do they see? Proud, arrogant, gold digger. Before she opens her mouth, the men are already 
sister is beautiful, but she's very unreachable. Some of you sisters who are believing God, we need to start breaking veils. Amen. And then comes this one, who is believing God for the fruit of the womb. She's been praying for a child. Time has come. Okay, it's not your portion. It's in Jesus. Even though it's not your portion in Jesus' name. And it is not your portion in Jesus' name. Time has come over and over and over again. But everybody's mouth is like this. We have been your daughter. So the curses of mouth have put a veil. We have been your daughter. And it is a veil. People perhaps have been like, but now this is what the Bible says as I conclude on this. Let's go to the next verse. Verse 8. He will swallow up death in victory. The Lord will wipe away the tears from off their faces and the rebuke of his people he shall take away from all the earth. Now this rebuke of his gift, the Bible says, God shall remove the God shall remove the rebuke. So suddenly the rebuke has been removed. And you're able to look and say, Wow, just sing your song. But I want 
able to tell you today we are destroying it by the blood. The rebuke of his people shall be taken away from off all the earth. For the Lord has spoken it. When the Lord speaks, nobody can gain shame. And it shall be said in that day, Lord, this is our Lord. This is the day we are going to say it. This is the, uh, 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 this is our God. We have waited for him. Who has waited? Who has waited? Can you say we have waited? It shall be said in that day, Lord, this is our God. We have waited for him and he will serve us. This is our Lord. We have waited for him. We'll be glad and rejoice because he's saving you out of that issue. Glory to God. You will not cry again. He's coming to save you out of your rebuke. He's working away every day. For in this mountain, verse 10, for in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest, and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even as true is trodden down under the dark. Today we are rising, we are telling God, whatever had beaten me small, in Israel it was Moab. Whatever his name or her name, Jehovah, beat him small. Amen. Who wants to tell God, Oh Jehovah, whoever had put me in that position, Jehovah beat them small. Even as trees throw them down the dark, he can't somebody stand. I want us to pray. Today we are praying every fail out of our life. I want us to declare, Jehovah, put second Thessalonians 1 6 before they think I pray my own things. For it is a righteous thing with God to recompense with trouble those who trouble you, to recompense with tribulation 